Yeah, hello people, this is Zero from the Zero Effect Network, you know, getting ready for the, the movie uh, Vanguard of Revolution, story about the Black Panthers. This is the, the setting where people about to get ready to, to watch the movie and meet up with the... the So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on tonight, you know. And I think I think we're gonna be able to discuss with the 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 guy that that directed the movie, uh, Stanley Nelson. I think that's his name. Get a picture. You taking a picture of me? I'm not taking. I'm recording. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Why you at it? Like which? Uh, uh, how, you, how how you feeling about the event tonight? I'm very excited about being here. Can't wait to see the documentary and, and participate in the discussion. Okay. <laughs> I think here comes the author. Yeah. I, I think that's the the guy who wrote the book, Stanley Nelson. <laughs> the next man touches the tusk and says, the elephant must be like the spear. Another blind man touches the trunk and says, it feels like a snake. And that is quite often what happens with our descriptions of the Black Panther Party. We know the party we were in and not the entire thing. We were making history, and it wasn't nice and clean. It wasn't easy, it was complex. Uh, put a, a, a 
bandolier, not bandolier, with the holster and the bag and the flies around it, and that became the symbol of uh, icon of the thing. Took on a life of its own. Guilty that I hadn't, um, you know, stayed to do something. I wasn't sure what. There was no other life. There was no other thing greater. Then I learned to live in a world where there was no Black Panther Party. Our children are growing up. Half the children don't know their parents, or their parents don't know their children. I want to spend more time with my son. So many are on the verge of leaving because we suffer from loneliness, lack of personal lives, and extreme poverty. Everybody wanted this gun token image uh, 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 of the big black, big bad black shaft guy jumping through the window and you know, beating everybody up. And they kill us. Well, they say there was a strike of fire throughout the early morning hours. They went into the front state and then began shooting. The Black Panther police shootout lasted 30 minutes. It was obvious that the government had made a decision that this was all out attack on the Black Panther Party. Every significant office is going to be raided, going to be bombed, going to be shot, they're going to be mass arrests. That made three dawn hours in Chicago today. Police from the Negro, as well as assistant Black Panthers, clashing Houston, New Orleans, and other cities. For the Black Panther Party, it was a crisis situation because we didn't have the resources. It was extremely tense. You could feel the energy and attention in the air. As not a man, and that gave him power to ultimately prove dangerous. Come to the clinic now,